Our world is overflowing with data, and official statistics tend to be drowned in the middle of misinformation. Which information should we trust? According to the Institute for Public Relations, newspapers are the most reliable source of information, but some articles can be false. Politicians can share what they want, usually official statistics, but some tend to spread misinformation or alternative facts. Official statistics are usually high-quality information and are regulated by Eurostat in Europe. For example, the Greek financial audit allowed Greece's official information to be reliable once more. Another problem is the misinterpretation of official statistics, which can be presented wrongly in meaningless graphics. Statistics about crime and delinquency are the most unreliable and difficult of all statistics because the dark figure of crime is not included. Top tips to avoid misinformation. Cross-check information and seek other viewpoints. Check your source. Who is it by? Where is it published? Pause before sharing. How would society be without statistics? Eh bien, ce serait une société dans laquelle il n'y aurait ni recueil ni analyse de l'information quantitative. Ce serait une société où l'être humain ne connaîtrait le monde qui l'entoure, le monde dans lequel il vit, que... Euh, de façon qualitative, spirituelle, mystique. Il n'y aurait pas de mécanisme d'assurance sophistiqué, que ce soit pour les biens ou euh, sur la retraite ou la prévoyance. In our city, it is important to know what is the social situation in each part of the city, what are the needs for transport, for housing, for new schools, of course. Ça nous permet de monitorer des situations de crise comme le Covid ou euh, également d'anticiper sur le réchauffement climatique. Les statistiques peuvent aider la société à évoluer puisque ce, ça, nous donne, ça nous donne des points de comparaison. To conclude, official statistics lost their monopoly over the production of information with the advent of the tech giants.